great. And I sure loved them. They were a couple of characters. Well, who was the one that told you, I love this story, that when you were in high school, there was a guy by the name of Boner something? Uh, what yeah, was his no, name? Not when I was in high school, when I was... In college? Even before school. When I was in, before public school. Oh, before public school? So yeah. you were that little? Like you were like five, what, like four or five? You yeah. Mean? Oh, I thought you were it's more like middle school or high no, school. Okay. No. And his name was Boner Salvador. Lombrano. Lombrano. Yeah. And he would beat you up or try uh, make fun well, of you, bully you. Well, he did that one you. night, and I went upstairs. My sister was there with an uncle, and I was crying. And Boner beat me up. And she said, well, did you hit him? And I said, no. She said, well, you go down there, and you hit him. <laughs> so I went down there again uh, to hit him. And he beat the shit out of me again. <laughs> That's why I love this story. You know, I hate movies with happy endings. I love this story. Uh, that because, explains a lot about the way you treat me. You know, because you would think, oh, yeah, something changed there. But, you know. Uh, I tried to relive Boner through him. <laughs> yeah. Boner, uh, Boner uh, served, uh, I think, in, the, um, in action in Korea while I was oh. typing in France. Oh, I was thought you were going to say he was doing something while you were like a huge movie yeah, star, television he, movie star, Golden Globe. He, came, you know. he came back and he uh, he wasn't too healthy, and um, I guess he died prematurely. But when I told that story, I don't know where it was printed, and one of his sisters or cousins wrote and said, "How dare you talk about Boner that way? It was not nice." And I was. Just honoring him, that's all I was doing. You're just being honest. You didn't say anything. He was one of my best friends. Tony Lopez was my other one. And Nikki Sindrich was beating the shit out of me at that point. (laughs) And, and, uh, And Tony, like a wise old friend, said, you gotta stand up to him. You gotta stand up to him. I said, okay, okay. So the next time Nikki picked on me, I stood up to him. And uh, and he backed off. I said, my God, I, I felt that sense of power, you know. I, I made him back off. He didn't come at me. So then uh, a little time passed. And then as time passed, that effect began to wear off on, on Nicky. And he started to get surly and, and stick his nose into my life again. And fortunately, we moved from the neighborhood. <laughs> Because I don't think I could have stood up against him twice. That was in the bottoms, right? In the, in the bottoms, bottoms, the West Bottoms. Yeah, I'd never heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, when you went to the University of, of Chicago, right, mm-hmm. you said that you were, you were okay, but you would, when your grades slipped, right, you went back home and because your parents wouldn't pay for college anymore, right? Because your grades... Well, were... actually, that was the real reason. Okay, what was it? I mean, my grades were bad. But you used to be an honor student. At least that's what one article said. Oh, in high school. Okay. Yeah. But uh, what was it really I, had, I had gotten very tight with a non-Jewish girl. Yeah. And uh, it caused the grades to slip. And uh, finally, my dad saw that I wasn't going to cut it off immediately and he cut off my funds immediately. Oh, because she was a shiksa? Uh Uh-huh. Really? Uh Uh-huh. And, oh my goodness, so what did you do? Did you go along with it and move back home or did you keep things? Well, I I was, uh, I had discovered theater at the same time. The two went hand is it hand? In hand. Or penis in hand. (laughs) We still say say hand in hand. Uh, So I, I, uh, I was, you know, in cast in the next show. 26, I heard <coughs> you said. Huh? But you were in a, a company called The Compass, right? No, no, no. Oh, that was later. later. That okay, was never later. mind. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. To Shut up. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to get to that part. Oh, okay, God. go ahead. Yeah, so. Go ahead. I was uh, cast as Crayon and uh, 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 a uh, production of Oedipus Rex. And... Um, uh, they expected me to come right home after the funds were withdrawn. I said, well, I will, but I, I think I'm going to stick around here and do crayon. So I said, okay. 
And my dad got on the phone. He said, you, you didn't make it as a student. You're not going to make it as an actor. And I was very tough. And I said, well, I'll be the judge of that. Oh, you did say that? Oh, I did say that. Windingly. Well, did they even know about, excuse me, did they even know about actors in no, those days? No, they didn't know anything. I was going to say, I mean, I mean they they're middle class. I mean, even, were they middle yeah. class or were they lower middle class? No, they were middle class. Okay, well, they, they didn't, didn't know, really, yeah. and you're in Kansas City. Well, I mean, it was unheard of anybody in our family going into the arts. Yeah. Who ever heard of that? Yeah, kind of exactly. Thing. People don't realize you don't have any no. any sense of it. You're just no. kind of struggling out I, there. I, and I, I certainly didn't know the right moves to make. Or, yeah, but you had a feeling inside you. Oh, I was inspired. And wasn't this Edith, Oedipus Rex, was that a radio show? No. Oh, it wasn't. No, okay. no, it wasn't. But I eventually... Richard III is what I read. Richard II was... Oh, that there. was the radio show at the, at the dormitory. That's in college. That I uh, auditioned for and got a role in. And I read for my roommate. Paul. Who, no, Jerry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you've got to get your facts straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Do all this fucking research for nothing? Well, was it in Korean? <laughs> was it in Korean? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. think it was. I mean, I'm sorry. So uh, um, I, uh, I, I said, should I try out for this radio show? Because I did radio in high school, and I loved it. And he said, well, let me hear you read. So I read for him, and his jaw fell. Yeah. And uh, later on, I decided to go to summer school. And he came bustling home one day, and um, he said... Uh, they're going to do uh, Murder in the Cathedral for the summer production. You can do any of the roles. Go check the book out and read for it. So I thought I'd be a big man. I checked out the book, and I didn't read it. And I took my girlfriend, my Greek girlfriend at oh, the time. Oh, now she's Greek. Was this yeah. before the Shiksa or after the Shiksa? Uh, that was before. Okay. Yeah. And I took her to the reading, and uh, I read for them. And after a bunch of hanky panky parlaying back and forth, I ended up doing the lead. And I never screwed the girlfriend, but you I never did. screwed the Greek girl. No, oh. no, no. But you did the shiksas. I did. Yeah. There, was she was she Catholic? Was she what? Was she was she Catholic? Was she Catholic? No, shiksa? no, God no. Because they're easier. She was. Well, <laughs> listen to you. How many have you slept with? I raised. I was raised Catholic. I have this big, this big theory that Irish and Jews were, were just pretty much the same. Yeah, well, they right? were the same sense of they humor. They were both in the same economic level when they yeah. first came here. Yeah. So uh, no, she was uh, she wasn't a religionist at all, but yeah. she had Danish blood. Oh, she must have been pretty. Mm, no, she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Get your facts straight. <laughs> She's dead now, so I can say she wasn't. But she was a good lay. <laughs> I thought you just said you never fucked her. I let, let, got laid. The Greek girl. Oh, the Greek girl. I, I oh, oh this you're, one. you're talking. <laughs> you fucked the Greek girl, but not the. I didn't fuck the Greek girl. You, what fucked, are you, the, gonna... you fucked the Shiksa. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's right. always lucky with the ugly ones. You know what I think is really interesting? I know we're, I don't mean to jump all over, but why not? Uh, nobody oh, knows. Please jump over. <laughs> Come on, jump, jump. No one knows that you're Jewish. I mean, if you read and you look you up, I mean, you're not hiding anything. But when you ask the average person, like, I'm doing a TV show now. And when I was, they say, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, oh, my God, you know, I'm going to, you know, on the podcast, I'm going to interview Ed Asner. I got, you know, I got all this research to do. And I said, uh, and these are, this is the UPM producers, you know, people that are, you know, intelligent, happening people. And uh -huh. I said, did you know he was Jewish? And people are like, no, I never knew that. See, you don't wear that. And it's very interesting. I just wonder, because so many... Wow, you don't find that many actors out there who speak Yiddish. Where? Out where? In the business. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought a lot of people spoke, spoke Yiddish, Russian Jews. Name one. Oh, actors? Yeah. Walter Matthau, not anymore. He's oh, dead. Oh, well, he was full you know? of shit. I mean, but, I mean, there, there must be. Martin, Martin Landau, I'm sure, must have spoken He's Jewish. gone, too. Well, he just left, but I'm just trying to living think. Living actors. Do you know any? <laughs> you know any living Jewish actors? 
You know what? I can speak a little Yiddish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tova, Beshared. Beshared, yeah. Nishva, n- nishva y- Yiddish Akindra. I used to have a little what, kid. What? Nishva Yiddish Akindra. Not for kids. Okay. Jewish kids. How about, how about, how about Ganza Machach? Big shot. How about, how about big guy? Okay, how about Fresser? I had a kid huh? named Fresser. Fresser. That's yeah, an eater. Yeah, an eater. See, yeah, I know a little right bit. <laughs> and you know, know, eat <laughs> a house and home. And when I was on Three's Company, you know how you do, well, you know, you yeah, do a show yeah, and you have yeah, dinner in the next show. Yeah. My, you know, my notes were always were yeah. too Jewish, too Jewish. You're a shiksa, too Jewish. Because I learned the Jewish rhythm on telling mm-hmm. a joke. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, Gentiles aren't really good with rhythm and jokes. They're kind yeah. of crummy. They're those stupid yeah. jokes. Like, yeah. like my mother would say, why does Santa Claus not have any children? Why? Because he has popcorn balls. I mean, these are not funny. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, you're all laughing, but normally you just kind of go ho-hum, you know? I like the great Jewish, the stories, the rhythm. The Roses are reddish, violets are bluish. I forgot the rest. Uh, uh, because I'm uh, Jewish. <laughs> Santa's... Not, what is it, Santa? <laughs> Santa's a goy, but Jesus was Jewish. Can uh, okay, you like that one? I did. Have you ever met it's those? Version. Have you ever met those people, Jews for Jesus? What's up with that? I mean, I've never I, quite uh, understood that. I don't have. I don't have any talk with them. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, got, I got a bicycle. <laughs> But you're right. Not many, but not many people. I think Yiddish is a dying language, yeah. Because you have to speak. Hebrew. I hope not, because it's rich. You know what it it's a, is. It's a great rich language. It's a whore language, like I sp- refer to English as being a whore language. It takes whatever it needs. Would you explain a little further on that one? What? Would you explain a little further on that one? Well. What do you mean it takes? The, the it best takes? example I give. My, my mother would write Yiddish letters to my sister and my brother, one of each. And on one of them, uh, they saved it, and they showed it to me. Um, uh, my, my mother wrote, uh, I'm da, da, in Yiddish, nothing is going on here, blah, 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 blah. Today I mopped the floor. <laughs> and, uh, and she said it all in Yiddish, except she didn't have the word for mop. So she said it. As Yiddish, in in in, in that English, in that in that English, uh, she wrote "mopped" in Yiddish. Oh, okay. But "mop" was not not a Yiddish word, but she created it. Oh, wow! And Jews created it all the time. And is that, is that how Yiddish got got started? Do you think? Well, it started, I'm told, as 14th century Plattdeutsch, and it was used by the Jews of Eastern Europe all over the place because the Sephardic Jews, the Spanish Jews, don't speak Yiddish. Right. Yeah. So the East European Jews used it all over and it was their means of communication in all the countries that they were oppressed in. So no matter what happens, they could talk to each other and share secrets. But they don't speak it much in, in Israel. No, that bullshit. They don't. They don't. And, and, you know, because that, the girl that plays my daughter on this show, yeah. her name is Yael Groblas. Yeah. She's from Israel. She's very yeah, Israel. They yeah, speak, yeah. She speaks Russian. She speaks yeah. Hebrew. And I started because I tried to impress her, you know, yeah. like a bonding experience. I would say my little Yiddish things. And she said, yeah. what does that mean? Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, sure. And I go, well, this is like Yiddish, you know. And she uh, goes, and I go, yeah, is it Yiddish? And she goes, oh, she goes, well, let me tell you, if you go over to Europe again, you ever go to Israel, don't talk like that because no one will either know what you're saying, and if they do, they're all dead. That's what uh, she told me. It's just half the complication with Ed and half of his English sometimes. I see. What, what happened? Saying? What happened? What do you mean? Oh, oh. But he's too. It's like, it's like, it's like the word beshert. There's certain, that means that, that, that you did like a mitzvah, that you, that you gave You're someone, chosen. That, that you did a good turn on someone. You did something good, right? That's what his English though. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, you, it's hard to explain those things, right? Well, you see, Israel was created mostly by Eastern European Jews who spoke Yiddish. 
So their big idea was to create a new country, a new, a new land, the Jewish homeland, and to throw off the shackles of the past, which included Yiddish. So they didn't teach it, 